Good morning. Say good morning, Joseph. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are out here at my favorite place. I know the sun is shining. And I hope you all can see me. Um, I feel like it was a awesome day to go live. Um, today is Miracles for Marriage Day and Miracle Monday for Marriage. And so I'm getting hot. Today, um, I just realized I have to redo this too. Today is an awesome day in the Lord. And, you know, a lot of times, sorry, y'all, hold on one second. Hold this. Are you, oh, shoot, that's cute, y'all. Hey. Hold this for me. Hi. So, hi. So, I'm back. So, before I get started with today's tip, as you can see, the scripture, James 1, 4, and 8. The topic and the tip for today is patience. Patience, patience, patience. The Bible says, let patience have a perfect work where you are entirely wanting nothing. And I love that because it just reminds me of so many times when I was going through um, marriage-wise, health-wise, but there were so many different things that um, I can look back on my life and know that no matter how bad I wanted that thing to get better, no matter how bad I wanted my husband to change, how bad I wanted my health to get better, I had to be patient. I had to be patient with the process. I had to allow the Holy Spirit to do what it needed to do so the fullness of what God was wanting to do in my life could come to pass. And so many times what happens is we, we say we have patience. We say that we're willing to be long-suffering. We say that it, we say that we're willing to do what it is that God wants us to do. We're waiting, we're waiting on our, our spouse to, you know, give their life to Christ. We're waiting on our spouse to stop cheating, stop drinking, stop smoking, stop cursing. We're waiting on our spouse to be better in their finances. And sometimes it's good for a little while and we're on the road and we're like, yes, God, we got this. And then something happens. The same patience that we had when things were going well is the same patience that we have to have when things are a little rocky. And so this is one of the reasons why the Bible says we have to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Even when things seem like it's not going exactly the way you want it to go, you still have to have patience. You still have to have faith. You still have to trust God. You still have to know that no matter what you're going through, that God is there because his word is true. Ain't that right, Joseph? Uh -huh. So, good morning. good morning. So no matter what you're facing today, let patience have its perfect work. If you see your spouse doing something or saying something that they shouldn't be doing, let it have its perfect work because guess what? We don't always get it right. We don't always do the right thing. We don't always, oh, I ain't put my thing on. We don't always um, do, do it the right the first time when God asks us. We sometimes don't do it at all. So we have to allow the same grace, the same mercy that was extended to us when we were, when God was calling us and God was calling our name and trying to pull us out of the trenches of sin and, and, and the graps of hell. We got to do that same thing. And so God is a good father and he won't do anything, anything to cause us any harm. The Bible said all things work together for the good of those that have been called according to his purpose and those that love him. So we have to trust that when God allows some of the things to happen in our life, 
that is a purpose and a plan out of all those things it's a purpose and a plan for your pain it's a purpose and a plan for the things that you're facing but i'm telling you i've learned and i'm still learning that how you face it how you respond to things it i'm gonna tell you in the last three months the warfare has been so great i don't even i can't even tell y'all but one thing i'm learning is the response to it is so important how you respond to the attacks of the enemy how you respond because it, it ain't your spouse it's the devil and sometimes it's us so we have to always keep ourselves in a place of speaking the word, reading the word, living the word, and praying the word. And so I want us to really have that understanding to know that patience is working things out for us. And I'm sorry, y'all, about the sun. I may have to come back on. But patience is working, this, working it out for us. You want to go around or go to the car? Okay. Um, just like now we're walking. I'm walking because I love to walk. I'm walking also because I am losing weight. Y'all saw how I said that? I said I'm losing weight. Um, I'm walking because I'm, I'm healed. I'm walking because it's just good. And so you don't lose weight overnight. You can. That's a miracle. You don't get healed overnight. You can. That's a miracle. But a lot of times, the same amount of time that it took for you to gain what you don't want to have, often you have to realize that you have to put in that time to lose the things that you want to want to um, not have, like weight and you know restoring your body back to health and all that kind of stuff. So, um, what I might do later on is come on and pray. Um, I don't know exactly what time um, I'll be on, but set your notifications and I will be paying for patience. Not just for patience in our marriage, but just patience all around because there's so many different things going on in the world. So many different distractions, so many different circumstances. Seem like you get out of one thing and something else comes up. So just know that God loves you and that he has the best in store for you. So blessings and I will see you all later. Bye.